the city that rivals Barber and Chicken? Uh, everyone loves Barber and Chicken. Um, I'm not really too much of a big fan of Barber and Chicken, really? even though it's, it's pretty famous uh, in Barber and But uh, the food here is great. Um, here in the facility, we have stiller chefs cooking for us every day, so it's, it's very good. Key, what attracts you about Pitt's defense and the way that they want you to play them right uh, the way they just fly around. Uh, the defense blitzes, they get TFLs and sacks. Um, Coach Manny kind of compared me to Dennis uh, that played here about two years ago. Uh, the way he just flies around, uh, something he kind of seen in me, um, something I've watched film over him about, and uh, just I think I can lock him a little bit and, and play that role for uh, this defense coming up next year. How much does Coach Manny love uh, personally uh, impact your decisions on here? Yeah, um, he was a big, big factor. Um, he was one of the first coaches to reach out um, once I hit the portal, um, had breakfast together, and uh, talked a little bit about the defense. Um, and and he just, uh, he's a great dude. He knows football. He's been at the top level somewhere, somewhere I want to get one day. Um, so he yeah, was a big impact on me. What was your main motivation for going into the portal? Uh, just playing at a bigger level. Um, I've been at OU since 2015, or 2018, um, playing five, six years there. So um, just coming to a power five level, get my name out there a little bit more so I can ultimately reach the next goal, which is the NFL. There been a number of transfers you've done similar things. Did you also notice that? Is it something you studied about the Pitt program? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know uh, Simmons, backer here uh, last year, he was a transfer, came in, uh, did a tremendous job, um, learned the defense pretty well, talked to him when I came down, um, first day I got down here, so, yeah. Year 17 dive, it's been like seeing how the transport has changed from the game to college to where it is now. Yeah. It, it's it's definitely crazy. Um, there's the pros pros and cons to it. Um, in my situation, I'm a graduate, so I think it was a it was a pro for me. Um, the the kind of obvious decision to, to make um, within the portal and, and see him where I can go. Where do you see yourself? A middle linebacker or on the outsides? Uh, middle linebacker. Yeah. How much of the playbook have you been able to get down or learn before? Like practices have even really started? Yeah, um, I've learned all the base defense. Um, some of the other packages that are in the third down type of scenario I'm still kind of trying to get a hold of. But uh, I played uh, with Coach Burrow, Joe Burrow's father, um, under this defense, basically the same type of defense for about two, three years. So kind of familiar with it. Yeah, how have you found Coach Nardizzi? Uh, he's, he's a stand-up dude. Um, he's a great coach, uh, defensive-minded coach. Um, some I, I wanted to step into. Um, he's he's going to tell you how it is. And, as a coach, I really embrace and someone I want to be under. The younger, I mean, there's, there's younger guys in the linebacker room. You feel like they kind of turned over in the last year. Do you feel like the old guys? Oh, sure. yeah. Most most definitely. A lot of young guys in there, me and Brandon and uh, Solomon are the old guys in there. So uh, we just try to preach to them every day and keep everyone on the uh, same page and, and make sure that room is, is good. Is there a sense of urgency? Is this your last year guy with your ability? Does that create a sense of urgency? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, obviously, this is my last year, so just coming in, I just want to make an impact. I'm just trying to come in and, and really learn the defense, hone in, and uh, kind of just be a leader to, to everyone and um, see what I can do. Can you do this show? Can't thank you very much for your time.